Hey guys, Larry from Dragonfire Welding. Say, one of my subscribers the other day said, Larry, I want to see you do some stainless. So I thought I'd do something special for you. What we've done is we've taken this little 110 little wire feeder here, and uh, we've hooked a TIG torch up to it. The TIG torch on the negative, and we got the uh, ground on the positive. You want to run it flip-flop, you know, not your normal kind of wheel. Anyway, we've disabled the wire here from turning around. We got this in here, little feller. As you can see, we got the the trigger in go mode, but there's no wire coming out because we got it disabled back there. All right, so this thing, it's just gonna sit over here, right there. That's good. Now we got our TIG torch, got our argon. We're gonna do a little bit of stainless welding here, guys. We'll take a little bit of this eighth inch filler here. Got a little four inch stainless heavy wall pipe. We're gonna get a little tack here. Got our ground set up on the truck. Probably don't even need this here, but. Now guys, we're running this out of 110, out of the wall. Can you believe that? I'm gonna tack this one up. We don't have any purge going on, we're just playing around. It's gonna leave a nasty weld on the inside there, so you, you want to purge at all times. A little scratch start. That puddle established. You snap out of it and give her a little argon blast. Come down here, you can see we ain't got no weld. I'm gonna throw one right in there. You scratch it like a match. Snap out of it. I learned everything I know from Jody from WeldingTipsAndTricks.com. He's a man, I'll tell you what. Now guys, I've got it cranked up all the way up. This is a 140 uh, amp machine. You can turn that sucker down. Let's see what E looks like. I don't know. So check out uh, WeldingTipsAndTricks.com. I'll bet Jody's probably messed around with this time or two. And uh, you know, he's he's the master. He really is. Heck, I'm just Larry from Dragonfire Welding. Have a good evening.